Welcome back. And today we're talking about uh, moving a, a primary producer into the role of, of maybe a retailer, online retailer, and, and maybe just a bricks and mortar retailer. Talking with uh, Bert Denning from Alberta Agriculture on the FITS program. And before we left, we, we looked at the front end uh, of a website using the, the POS side, the point of sale side, for uh, retailing or wholesaling even if you'd like, uh, but the customer interface of it. Now we're going to have a look at the back end and we talked a little bit about uh, you know the, the type of uh, inventory can get to be kind of a, a bugbear when, when dealing with, with new cuts and, and processing and, and breaking down cuts of meat for example or repackaging something and we've got a lot of things going on there. So we want to just take a quick view of the back end that FITS provides which I think is a, is a very key value. And one of the things that, that you did mention before was traceability with this. So we're going we're gonna to have a look at an overview of the system right now. So I'll have you bring that up there. There we go. And, and let's, let's have a look at what's going on here. So Bert, over to you. Yeah, so as you see the screen, this is the main computer screen um, with FITS. And on the top you'll see three buttons. So if you want to go to just the, the button called settings, mm -hmm. we'll start with that. Um, you press on there and on the very left you'll, you'll have a, a button called company and that's where you'd start with putting in your company, your company logo, um, that type of thing and if you scroll down on there and that logo was something that would come on every single invoice that you, you, um, mm -hmm. you produce. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom there's a place where you actually can put the information in for, for example your web store. Mm -hmm. You can put some writing there and some text and that's the stuff that will show up on your store. And if you we'll just go down maybe uh, you know, one at a time, then you go to storage locations. For example, a person might have one freezer, you might have multiple freezers, mm -hmm. you might have storage locations that, that will be different buildings, mm -hmm. you know, that type of thing. Um, then we'll go to the next one, and that's price lists. You can have a default price list, but you can also have a specific price list for any customer. For example, you had a, a special customer that gets always like a 30% break. So here the, you can differentiate between retail and wholesale customers exactly. or restaurant customers exactly. that are buying a greater volume, maybe even some volume discount or something yeah. specific of what you negotiate. Yeah. Fantastic. One thing about FITS, it's very, very flexible. You can sort of do its program. We designed it so you can basically do what you want you know, to, to a point. Okay. Um, then you've got um, price lists and then you've got categories. and. Categories is your general kind of overview. So it might, you might have chicken or bison, or you might have like um, strawberries. Mm -hmm. And underneath there, you might have strawberry jam or something like that, or you might have vegetables. You know, it's, it's the general category. It, so this is completely customizable. Just because you've got uh, in, in, this, in this sample data, just because you've got beef and bison and chicken doesn't mean this is all it's for. No. You could have any product or anything that you're actually reselling. Exactly. So, you know, when we, when we look at this, this is really, uh, you know, it's been developed to help, uh, to help on-farm sales, but it's got the same technology and same business rules or business processes as, as most uh, accounting and POS uh, packages, doesn't it? Exactly. So that's fantastic. So you're not losing out on this at all? No, and, and at a much, uh, we understand, a much lower price. And um, also, this is, this is part of the cloud computing movement of where you're not attached to uh, a client server uh, architecture, but rather anybody can access uh, th through any web portal, through any web uh, internet access point, and uh, be able to e edit the categories, do the transactions, pull reports off, and you don't have to be tied down to any particular location. And uh, I know you've also bought some, some remote technology with you, which we'll talk about in a minute here. Exactly. But, so it, very, very good integration with that. So I'll let you continue here with, yeah. with these other pieces. Yeah, and then you go to products, and products is basically gets down to the nitty-gritty of, of, for example, I got their ground beef. And if you mm -hmm. notice on the right side of ground beef, there's a picture of, mm -hmm. of ground beef. And that's yep. just the example. That would be the picture that would come up, come up on the store. Yep. If you go down, um, you look at the store product, like the bottom end of that there is where you put on your descriptions, you put in mm -hmm. your picture and that type of thing. And that's what shows up on the store. Now, I've worked with a lot of uh, larger uh, ERP pro uh, programs like PeopleSoft and SAP where this 
kind of stuff is, is customized. And I look at the amount of flexibility that's built into this. This is These are a lot of fields. This is a lot of information that's you put right. out here. And uh, one thing I would like to say about this is anytime you have the ability to put this type of product information out, this will help your marketing efforts. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly the uh, good selection of the image, mm -hmm. uh, certainly um, a good description of what you're, what you're selling. Mm -hmm. Those things should not be overlooked. Just because the, the tool and software is there mm -hmm. doesn't mean you still don't have to do some thinking and have a marketing plan to, to put some of the stuff out effectively. So yeah. great. And we've also found, that, especially this screen, working with producers, this is the part you have to get right. So we tell them, you know, do a few examples first and mm -hmm. fool around with it a little bit because because otherwise you're going to go back and, and it just takes time. You know, it takes a fair amount of time to get all of that in there. Let me go to the barcodes. And this mm -hmm. is the interesting part because FITS is based on barcode technology, mm -hmm. but on the screen you have here, a lot of people think, well, you have to, every single product you have to put a barcode in, and that's not true. All you do here is, is configure a barcode, mm -hmm. so it's a barcode type. Mm -hmm. You just do that one type, one time for every barcode type. And people are kind of wondering, my goodness, there's more than one type? Well, yeah. You take any any product out there in, in the grocery world, and it has a UPC, a universal product code, which is issued out of, out of an organization in the States. But then we also have our internal barcodes, such as uh, code 39, code 128, and um, you know those constitute barcodes as well. So that's what we can configure is the different ones that we're using. And I guess you've also brought an example of meat scales that have a different barcode as well that we can handle through this. Yeah, this is an example of, um, of some barcodes, basically just some fairly larger ones with, with some type, sort of modern type scales. And in a nutshell, the longer the barcode, the more information you can mm -hmm. put on there. So in theory, if we can have a very long barcode, you could have enough information on there that you could have an individual number for even a cut of meat. Mm -hmm. So if you're cutting T-bone steaks on Friday from 10 to 11, mm -hmm. and there's a problem with the steaks, you could go right back to that time period and, and trace it right back. There you have it, exactly. So you have the ability to program traceability into what you're doing in your organization through this. And this exactly. is a very simple setup. That's fantastic. Yeah. And that's very, very important for like a meat shop or, a, or a, an abattoir, that mm -hmm. type of thing where traceability is very, very important. Exactly. So that's built into the program. Now, uh, when we come back from our break, you're going to do a demonstration of how somebody can process an order remotely uh, into the system using a handheld device and actually make the, do the transaction on site mm -hmm. and really see how this system works. So uh, join us when we come back and uh, we'll have a look at uh, this interesting little device and how it works. Mm -hmm.